Okay, so this is like my fourth time recording this. I don't know why I have bad luck like this, but let's try this again. You want to convert your PS2 games to CHD files so they're smaller. You want to compress them so you can have more games on your Android device. But let's say you don't have a computer. Everyone's going to tell you that you can't do it, but you actually can. It's really easy, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. So you're going to need a few apps. The first app you want to get is... Termux. So uh, let's go into our web browser and go to termux.com and get the Termux app. You can get it on FDroid by tapping right here. You could either open it in your browser and directly download the APK file for Termux, but for simplicity, I would just get FDroid and install it. So let's open up FDroid. I already have that installed on here. And we would install Termux. You want to keep this app up to date because if you let it stay outdated, it will eventually break. And you really don't want to do that because it's a pain in the butt to deal with once it's broken. So now that we have Termux on our device, we want to go and get an app called Andronix. And fortunately, this app is on the uh, Play Store. And it's right here. Andronix lets you run Linux on your Android device without root or any weird, wacky configurations. It's extremely simple and straightforward so let's open up the app and you will see this screen right here once you open it and you want to click on the orange one it's called ubuntu and it's the easiest uh os to deal with on here it's pretty straightforward and i know for a fact that it works so you want to tap on ubuntu and hit proceed and you want to get 20.04 Focal Fossa. That's the newest version that's available for Andronix. You want to hit install. And on this selection screen, you want to hit CLI only because the tool, the tool set we use to convert ISO files to CHD files does not have an interface. And it will just be more stuff to download on your tablet or your Android phone. And by the way, you should have three to four gigabytes of free space on your device before you do this or else you might run out of space while installing this stuff. So let's hit CLI only. And it will say at the top of the screen, command copy to clipboard. So once you see that message, let's jump out of the app and let's enter Termux. Now right now Termux has a bug to where it fails to update the package list. So you want to tap and hold on the screen and hit paste like I did just now. And you want to go all the way to the very first part of this command right here. And you want to remove everything right here. You want to remove everything behind PKG that's highlighted. So let's just hit backspace until it looks like this. I'll probably just put that in the description of the video to make it simpler for you guys. Let's just hit enter. And now this should start downloading Ubuntu for your uh, Termux terminal. And once you have Ubuntu on here, you'll be able to install the uh, ISO toolkit. Termux is going to ask to access your storage of MIDI media. You want to hit allow. Now you want to do this because it will let it, it will let Termux access your folders that have your PS2 games in them. So don't hit no. It's going to cause you a lot of trouble and it's going to make it a lot more complicated. So now we see that we, we basically have Ubuntu installed that was actually really fast. Uh, depending on your internet connection, it could be a lot slower. But for me, it was very quick. So now we're at a command, uh, not command prompt, we're at a terminal prompt right here. And we want to do app update. This updates the package list. So when you go to install the tool set, it knows where to download it from. If you don't run apt update and you try to install it, it might fail. So now that we have the package list updated, we can install the tools. So you'd think that you install CHD man and you'd be on your way. Well, no, you actually install MAME tools. So you want to do apt install MAME dash tools. Now this is going to use 1.5 gigabytes of space, so make sure your, your device has enough storage for it or else this will fail. So you type Y to confirm and you hit enter, and it's going to start downloading all the required dependencies in the files to run this tool.
And again, depending on the speed of your internet connection, it could be faster or slower than what you're seeing on my screen right now. So when you convert games from ISOs to CHD files, your uh, compression f ratio will vary. Some games compress very well and some don't. It, it really just depends on the content inside of the game. And it depends on um, the, the version of the tools that you're using. Since we're using the newest version available to us right now, I think that won't be an issue. If you use a really old version of CHD Man, it will compress worse. But from what I've seen, a lot of people can get their games down to 1 gigabyte or even lower, which is pretty impressive considering that most of them start out at 4 gigabytes or more. Just going to wait for this to continue real fast. I'm going to pause it and unpause it when it's done unpacking all the, the files because there's nothing else to see here. All right, it's done unpacking all the files, and now it's going to ask you a few questions. I don't know why it does this exactly, but I just answer them anyway. So we live in America. That's where I live. It's going to ask you to time zone. So my time zone is Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Central Time, whatever, and that should be Chicago, I think that's 37, it's a long list, you might not even need to answer these properly, but just for the sake of simplicity, I would, just in case, and it's just about done setting up, so there we go, now we have CHD Man installed on our tablet, and we could run it to um, compress ISO files. So let's go ahead and do that. So to get to your PS2 folder or wherever you keep your ISOs, you want to type CD and then slash. And then you want to type CD again and do slash, uh, type in SD card. If your device has an actual SD card plugged into it, this might be a little bit different. But when I talk about changing the directory to SD card, that's actually your internal storage. This tablet doesn't have an SD card in it, but it will always be called SD card. So now that we're in our storage, I can do LS and we can see all of our stuff. So let's change our directory to PS2. So CD PS2, and that's where I keep all my ISO files. So you can type LS to view your directory and see what's in it. So we see... Um, a few games in here, and I've already converted two of them, but we're going to convert Jack, Jack and Daxter to a CHD file in a minute. So you see that it's in the list right here. So how do you convert it? Well, that's a good question. So let's go to our web browser, and I use Google to look this up because I can't remember the command to save my life. So here it is right here. I'm going to put this in the description of the video. That way it's easier on everybody. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. So you want to just select that text and copy it. Go back to Termux. You want to hold your finger on the screen and hit paste. So now the .chd is the name of the file that you're going to output. So I'm just going to do Jack and Daxter. Um, if you don't have quotations around the file name, you cannot put spaces in it. Keep that in mind. For simplicity, I just put underscores in here, and then later on, after you're done converting it, just go into your file manager and rename it to put spaces back in the name. That's just me, though. So, look at this long name. You think I'm going to type all of that? No, sir. So let's hold our finger on the screen. Oops. This is easier when the text is bigger. So we're going to select the text right here. Okay, it's going to give me trouble like that just because I'm on video. I'm 
there we go selected this x i'm gonna hit copy and then i'm gonna hit backspace right here because the very last uh file name in this command is the input file so i'm gonna hit i'm gonna tap and hold on the screen and hit paste and now i'm gonna start the conversion you can write a shell script to like automate this process so if you're in a folder full of isos you can write a script that would like see every ISO and start converting them automatically, but I don't know how to write that script, but I'm sure someone in the community could provide one. It's just like in Windows, except it's in Linux, so it's basically the same crap, really. So after this process is complete, you will have the CHD file that's compressed, and you can watch the compression as it happens. So let me explain what this means. So you see logical size on your screen. So the logical size is 1.7 gigabytes. And then the ratio is the the resulting file size in the end. So when you see a ratio of 36%, that's 36% of 1.7 gigabytes. And that's what what the size is going to be. The uh, compression varies on the games like I said before. Sometimes it compresses ridiculously well, sometimes it's just okay. Time Splitter's Future Perfect, for instance, went from 4. Point, I think it was like 5 gigabytes actually, to being 1.8 gigabytes or 2.8. There's a big difference when you don't have that much space to work with. See, this is uh, converting pretty fast. That's because Jack and Daxter is not a hard game to compress. So once this uh, process is complete, you can delete your original ISO file. And if you ever need the ISO file back, you can do this process in reverse where the input file is, in, is a CHD and the output is an ISO. So all you have to do is take the command that I'm going to put in the description and you can just reverse it. So instead of making a CHD file, you make an ISO. You shouldn't really need to do this unless there's an incompatibility with the emulator, but I haven't seen any issues so far, um, but just in case. And after this uh, compression is complete, I'll show you guys how to exit Linux on here and start it back up again. And that should sum up the video. Like I said, this is pretty easy stuff. Um, like anyone can do it. As long as you just stick to what I said and you do it every time the same way, there's, there's no way to mess this up. It'll just work. Just to remember, uh, if you want to convert... Uh, ISOs that have like spaces in the name, you need quotations around it, and it's just easier to copy the whole file name with the quotations around it. Saves you from any trouble later. So look at that, a file ratio of 51.4%. That means it's 51% of the original size. That's pretty damn good. So now we're done converting our ISO, and all of our ISOs are now CHD. I'm done using Linux. So how do we get out? Just type exit. Now we're in the Termux uh, environment. Well, we're done using Termux. You could swipe down on your notifications and hit exit on Termux, or you could just type exit in the terminal. And then there you go. You're done. So let's say, hey, it, this is a few days later and you downloaded or ripped an ISO, should I say. <clears throat> I own all of my games, by the way, but a lot of people pirate. Let's just, let's not pretend that they don't. So... Let's say you got some more ISOs you want to convert, and you want to do this again. Well, you don't have to reinstall Linux. You just go into Termux. So you open a new Termux window, and you want to do ls. You're going to see start Ubuntu 20.sh as one of the first files. And what you want to do is do dot slash start dash Ubuntu 20.sh. And it will start up. It won't be this fast. Like if you reboot your device, it will it will take a second to start up again. But now that we're back in, in Linux, we can start using our tools again. And remember, you need to change your directory to SD card. You can just type slash SD card with CD. You don't have to do any extra steps. And you should be in that like root directory of your storage. Then you can start messing with stuff. But yeah. And this is how you do it on your tablet. And I want to uh, 
make a final closing statement that this isn't like an emulator. This is ARM64 code. It runs natively. So converting your games does not take a thousand years. It isn't extremely resource intensive. But if you do have a weaker device, you should expect it to take a little bit longer to convert your games. It shouldn't be anything too slow. Um, but yeah. Hope this, hope this helps you guys out. I didn't mean for the video to be 15 minutes, but that's just how it is. After you do the setup, it's not going to take you 15 minutes each time to convert an ISO. It only takes a second. But, uh, but yeah, that's it.